hello one welcome back to the channel so as discussed in the live in the previous live as we discussed we are back with the mcqs so this is the first video regarding the deloitte mcqs that we promised to get you and this is like a basic mcqs that were repeated in the previous exams so we just collected some of the topic base we didn't repeat uh, one topic at uh, different questions so we uh, we picked some topics and based on that we picked some previous questions and uh, made a video regarding that and i think it would be helpful for uh, you all so let's start uh okay where is my car so yeah so first question uh, this is from the cyber security uh, section uh, first question where did the term hacker originate so the options are MIT, New York University, Harvard University, Bell's Lab. The answer is MIT. It's a sim, uh, it's a single word answer. The story behind is like that's all not required. Just remember that uh, this is one of the questions that came and it, the the word be, uh, originated from MIT. And as a professor, as the computer science professors, we cannot just generally term anything like X and Y. So everything has a name. So for such kind of malicious things or such kind of non uh, things they named it as hackers uh, such way they also named it like the geek nerd and everything so all such terminologies came from the mit university so just remember this okay next question which of the following details is uh, in mobile system wait for the owner to trigger the cyber attack see program viruses and worms they enter into system and do itself just remember but whereas the botnets they wait till the owner owner to trigger it so once the owner trigger it then they starts it execution so answer is botnets okay and next third question which of the following ethical hacking technique is used for determining which operating system is running on a remote computer so ethical hacking technique so a technique where uh, the technique name they are asking which is used for determining which operating system is running whether it's a linux a linux based system android based system it's a windows mac whatever it is the answer is option a operating system fingerprinting this is the technique name which uh, through which the remote locations operating system can be determined okay next question the full form of malware is the options are uh, malfunction software multipurpose software malicious software uh, malfunction of security and op answer is option c malicious software and we all know malicious software malware nothing but there are uh, things like virus uh, trojans ransomware spyware so etc etc so all this comes under malware and the full form or the complete term is known as malicious software and uh, next question this attack can be developed by infusion of malicious code in the website comment section what is this attack referred to here okay so the attack so it's like a cyber attack and this attack is deployed so they are asking they explain the process like what exactly this attack means what exactly this attacks does and how exactly it does so they're asking the terminology again here so here they're asking in the malaysia core website comment section in the website comment section if some of the user or some the hacker is adding some malicious code in the comment section that would uh, make the loss to the uh, respective organization that kind of attack is named as first uh, option is given as sql injection uh, i would recommend to read about all these four individually then uh, because this question is uh, has only one answer but the question can come from the, any of the four options or even some of the other as well so just uh, learn about the different types of injection different types of basics of attacks and all that would help to un uh, answer this kind of questions and answer for this uh, question is option c cross-site scripting uh, many of you confused between SQL injection and process screen. SQL injection majorly does from the address bar itself. In address bar itself, they use the, the SQL commands kind of thing to uh, trigger out some of the malicious uh, data uh, that from the, their or the respect organization DDB and they use this data to penetrate into the website. So this is uh, different from the uh, SQL injection. This is cross-site system where here in the from the comment section itself, the attack has been triggered okay and next is uh, the last question for this section cyber security firewall examines each dash that are entering or leaving the internal network 
it's not the email uh, users See, firewall we have everywhere firewall and even if you are a windows user and any kind of user you, you have a default windows firewall and it it determines which traffic need to be glow, uh, go in which traffic need to be go out so it cannot be it cannot be determined using email users updates or connection it can only be determined using data packets so which data packet can be entered into the system which can be go out out of the system that completely managed by firewall so option d is the correct answer for this okay so let me just quickly um just remember so this is not much important uh, this is like a basic terminology it's been repeated so here from this question you need to learn about ddos ddos attack next is what uh, what is exactly just like one one line what is this what like you should understand the exact difference between this all those four terminologies so just learn about these four terminologies and next which of the following this operating system again this four terminologies is important uh, this is uh, you just uh, know, need to know the exact definition of malware and some full form that would enough Here as I mentioned you need to definitely need to uh, aware about all these four terminologies and plus There are some other terminals as well just when you are searching about it you will have some other suggestions as well So just go through those as well Firewall this is normal so uh, for from the cyber security section I could say you need to understand about the various types of attacks that's the first thing next is operating system uh, techniques third is uh, uh, the injections sql html and all and yeah these are the three things majorly you need to learn uh, in from this video you need to like after this video is done you need to like go through all this thing to understand more and, and answer uh, such type of questions so let's move to another uh, section cloud computing okay <clears throat> which of the following is an example of cloud um, Amazon web services Dropbox Cisco UX. we know that this is a cloud this is a Dropbox this is a cloud Cisco this is also cloud so and the so option is option D so all of the, this is a general knowledge question kind of so this is a, like the AWS where uh, if you are not if you have done any kind of project or heard somewhere we all we uh, know that uh, AWS is a cloud service Dropbox we usually use Dropbox from the Microsoft services and all Cisco web the meetings and all so this is like a general based question for the general knowledge. it's not like um, it is present in books or somewhere so this is like a, a general knowledge question from the cloud computing section okay next uh, if we go to next question which of the following is the correct statement about cloud computing cloud computing abstract system by pooling and sharing resources okay cloud computing is nothing more than the internet okay the use of word cloud makes reference to two essential concepts always mentioned it's option a cloud computing nothing but system of pooling and resource sharing so simply um, suppose uh, there is like a huge of 10 tb of data you need and uh, but you will be using like a 2 tb at once and after some time you will be using 1 tb at once and you don't have much space or much infrastructure to hold uh, and maintain all those things all those resources so that's where cloud computing comes in where uh, it's a basic definition it has more uh, features in it i'm just in in a lame manner explaining what's a cloud computing meaning is so it's in a remote location where like thousands of tbs of data servers are already there hosted with a lot of bandwidth and everything so when a user wants to use some of the data so from those pool uh, pool uh, where is this yeah from those pool some of the resources have been shared here so from those 100 tb i am going to use just a 2 tb of data with some bandwidth with some kind of operating system and all i'm just using it and after that i'll just relocate it or i'll just keep it and i'm not maintaining any kind of infrastructure there i'm not uh, doing any kind of maintenance there all has been handled in the cloud computing i'm just using those resources this is called cloud computing and that's the option a okay what is the correct formula to calculate the cost of cloud computing okay and here there's a lot of formulas given and the correct answer is option b here because the unit cost is act usually defined as the cost of a machine instance per hour or any other resource so that is exact formula is option b okay 
which of the following monitors uh, the performance of major cloud-based services in real-time cloud commerce that is option C cloud center and if you have not ever heard about uh, the cloud cost or this is a definition and majorly the cloud center cloud version cloud metrics yeah don't no need to worry just note down these all kind of uh, terminologies cloud world cloud center cloud metrics the question is now based on cloud sensor the next question maybe this year the question might be in cloud watch or cloud metrics or any kind of such cloud terminologies so when you're just browse search uh, keywords and learn about that just one two lines just remember it what exactly what that would help to answer such questions next again the same terminologies an application that provides for transaction overflow and reservation system is example of it's a big example of cloud bursting actually and here also i would recommend you to go through each and every terminology here then only you'll understand and uh, yeah and uh, this terminology even in the cyber security there are terminologies so note down such kind of terminology or take a screenshot just browse or uh, these kind of keywords that would help you to answer these questions okay next last question for this section uh, dash has many of the characters of what is now being called as cloud computing yeah we usually call as internet because see internet if you are take an example of as i said such things right so searching things so you are not going to any kind of library or not doing any kind of physical search in a normal way i'm telling you are typing somewhere or taking some bandwidth taking some resource taking some data from somewhere and using some data and the the medium you are using is an internet so everything is you are using like you are using as a medium and downloading some resources uh, accessing kind of resources so this is all the kind of uh, pooling and you are sharing some of the resources so it's a kind of internet but complete internet is not exactly cloud computing so this is many characters as i said it's not exactly but many of the characteristics here many of the characteristics so that is the answer that is internet okay so if i just wrap it up um, this is general on question and from here um, this is a basic cloud definition costing yeah this is one and these three terminologies you definitely need to note down just take a screenshot and learn about this again also these three terminologies take a screenshot learn about this okay next the machine learning okay so our last section for this today's video in language understanding the level of knowledge does not include in the language understanding this definitely means uh, uh where is my cursor yeah so this uh, majorly uh, we are discussing here with the question of nlp natural language processing there are different languages or levels or stages there are different terminologies for this and um, in that there are different like uh, uh, speech stage where uh, if i take example of an alexa or a google uh, bot where we talk something it takes the speech as an input understand the language and also this is kind of one learning this kind of language and there are different learning like word based learning like lexical learning where words are being given and it understand what is word exactly what exactly word means what and uh, there are different different words like C C. Suppose uh, C means a C is a C. It's like a beach. C S W is like seeing. So ambiguity is there. So to, the machine learning used to like differentiate between one word to another word. So that's where lexical comes out. Such so that there are different different languages. So to under to you to you know, to un, uh, answer this kind of questions, you need to learn about languages or you can say levels or stages of nlp then you can answer this and from those languages different different languages are there empirical is a, a keyword i mean here this is an odd one or there is no such language named with empirical so option c is the right answer which is not a proper language okay and here are the parser and to answer this again you need to know about what's a parser then the top down parser and everything and basically top down parser means the answer is given here in the option itself that is option a so it's like begins with the uh, hypnotizing a sentence is and successfully predicting lower level constraint until individual potential symbols are written so this is the answer in the first question 
um, as I said to learn about NLP that language and all and here I would uh, recommend you to learn about parser next horn clause and there are different example and option D is the correct answer for this this is not a horn clause the horn clause uh, which is like uh, a basic like we usually represent the relation like this and in horn clause we also depend like this with uh, the all kind of set element and relations and all so to understand more about this again you need to learn about horn clause just go through this the action of a robot on specify to place block k on a block b block k on a block b so block a on a block b right so this is a block b and we want to place block a on block b then result would be something like this b yeah so it simply means it's a stack we what is a stack if play uh, one thing upon another like in a lame manner one thing upon another so stack of a of b does the place of block a on block b which of the following is the widely used and effective machine learning algorithm based on the idea of bagging so the question is about bagging technique in machine learning learn about this as well in a lame manner uh, it's like uh, this technique what does it's like from a group of samples it takes some uh, n1 kind of random sample and n2 random sample n3 random sample so on n n n and from this it classifies to c1 c2 c3 so on cn and from this it combinedly and classifies into c star is a major one and whenever there is a, a test element like x comes in to determine which classification it belongs to classify it belongs to c1 says uh, it belongs to c1 c2 says it belongs to c2 c3 says it belongs to c1 or even uh, c, uh, cn says it belongs to x and what c star does is based on voting mechanism determines which has the majority of votes then it will determine this belongs to this kind of classifier and this way c star has more accuracy than the individual c1 c2 c3 and so on till cn Thus, uh, the accuracy is more in this kind of technique and in this technique random forest is the one that uh, is the answer for this which is widely used for this uh, kind of technique so this is a basic one uh, if you uh, want more info on it you can just search it and learn about the complete technique and in the examples you will find random forest as a one of the technique so last question for this today's video in which of the following cases will k means clustering fail to give good results okay K means algorithm is a very important algorithm. No matter whatever uh, exam, not even Deloitte, whatever machine learning uh, exam you are giving, K means is a definite uh, question. And not just uh, competent exam, even your college exams as well, K means is like a must and should question. And in that, there are different properties and they are asking which, which fail to give good results. So some of the exception like uh, they are asking data points with outliners, data points with different densities, data points with non conversion So what is the answer? 1 and 2, 2 and 3, 1 and 3. Yeah. So answer is all of them over here. Any of the uh, three satisfies the K means will fail to give good results, means the accuracy will not be good. So answer is all of them. So from this, uh, 